this is how I got over 200 plus FPS in Fortnite with my i7 3rd gen PC. And guys, also if you are struggling to get higher FPS, having stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite, so this video is going to help you to get more FPS and performance in Fortnite out of your PC or laptop. So guys, make sure to watch this whole video till the end. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like, and let's get straight into it. The very first step, you need to launch the Fortnite on your PC. Now, once you launch the Fortnite, now you need to go for your taskbar, right click here and open up the task manager. Now, simply go for the details tab, go for the search bar and search for the Fortnite. Now here you will find out right now running on your PC. So guys, here is our main Fortnite process that is Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file and also it is using more memory. Now simply right click here, you need to go for the set affinity option. Here is all the CP codes your PC is using to running the Fortnite. So guys, the most important tweak you need to do on your low-end PC that is you need to simply uncheck the CPU zero from here. Therefore, this CPU can handle all your PC processes and other CPU can handle your Fortnite processes. And this will completely fix your stutters and FPS drops and low FPS issue in Fortnite. After doing it, now click on the OK button and guys, that's it. After that, now simply close out of the task manager. Now for the next step, you need to go straight to your Fortnite settings. Open up in the settings of your Fortnite. Set the Windows mode onto the Windows full screen or full mode. I personally prefer Windows full screen because it's easy to use multiple windows at the same time while playing the Fortnite. Now simply scroll all the way down. I suggest you to guys set all the settings onto the low on your low end PC. But I personally play with the mix settings. So guys, now next here you will find out the advanced settings. Simply turn on your FPS. This is your personal preference. Now next you need to go for the settings icon. Here you will find out all the energy saving and everything. So guys, simply scroll all the way down. And here you will find out energy saving mode. So guys, here we got over this sleep mode and energy saving. So guys, I suggest you to turn off the energy saving mode on your PC. Therefore, you can get the most performance out of your PC. After doing everything on your PC, click on the supply changes and guys simply restart your PC. So guys, now the next step, you will simply open up the Epic Games Launcher on your PC and find out here your Fortnite game. Go for these three dots and go straight towards this manage option. First of all guys, use here the command that is minus use all available ports for using the maximum performance of your CPU. After that, also I suggest you to verify your Fortnite one time. After that, now close out of it. Again, go for three dots. Now go for options. Now from here guys, if you are not using the DirectX 12, so I suggest you simply uncheck this high resolution textures and also uncheck this DirectX 12 on your PC. And also guys, make sure to download this pre-download Steam asset for optimizing your network while you're playing Fortnite because this will cause packet loss and higher ping while you're playing Fortnite. So it's important to download this pre-download Steam asset on your PC before launching the Fortnite. Now click on the apply button and apply these settings. Now in the next step, you need to download this budget PC optimization pack November 2024 on your PC. Link will be down in the description. Simply go there and download this file on your PC. After downloading here, you'll find out these files that is the Fortnite priority meme reduct for your RAM optimization, MSI utility for your GPU optimization, and at the end gear booster for optimizing your network. So open up the first folder that is the Fortnite priority. So double tap here. Now you will go to this window. Simply guys, use it according to your PC build. You can ask him in the comment below which file is best for your PC with your PC specs. So guys, I'm going mostly with the Fortnite medium priority. So simply double tap here, hit yes, yes again, and click OK. Now close out of this folder. Now for the next step, you need to install the meme reduct on your PC. I have already installed the meme reduct. So guys, simply go for your search bar and let me just open up the uh, meme reduct application. So guys, here we go to the meme reduct. It will ask you for updating. Simply click on this no button and here you will find this physical memory, virtual memory, system working set. So guys, after every one hour, you need to simply click on this clean memory button, then hit yes, and this will free up a lot of your memory in the background and help you to getting the more performance. So guys, repeat this step after every one hour while you're using or playing the Fortnite, and this will improve your PC performance. So guys, after doing it, now simply close out of your memory duct. Now for the next step, open up MSI utility application. Inside you will find the zip file, so double tap here. And now you need to simply drag this application on your desktop. Now simply right click here 
and run this as administrator therefore you can go to the full access now hit yes now you need to find out here your gpu model whatever you're using i'm right now doing the settings on my rtx 3070 on my main pc but i have tested all the settings on my low end i7 third gen cpu so guys here we got our nvidia geforce rtx 3070 simply check mark on this msi box then go for this intra purity and set it onto the high after doing it click on this apply and apply these changes inside your msi mode utility now in the last file of this pack you need to open up the free gear booster txt file copy this address from here search it in your browser and download the gear booster on your pc after installation here you will find out this kind of the interface of the gear booster and guys you can simply log in here your account using your email your google id or your facebook id so now you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go for the games tab and here you will find a thousand of the game. So you need to go for your home tab and you will find out the install game automatically. Now click on this boost button and guys this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So guys once you are connected with the gear up booster here you will find out this kind of the region and guys here kind of the node so this will guys automatically find everything for you you do not have to change anything from here so guys click on this launch game button and guys make sure to launch your game after launching the gear up booster so guys here once you have launched the fortnite on your pc now you need to open up your gear up booster and here you can check out here your estimated thing and guys every single thing now here is the routing detail you can check out here my pc that is connected with the gear booster and then gear booster is connected with the dubai server and then here it is the adaptive intelligent routing that is automatically find out the best ping for you and optimize your route for getting the best performance for the network so guys now the next step you need to lower the number of processes running on your pc before it was 272 processes but guys after doing a lot of optimization on my own pc now the processes is right now onto the 158 so guys we can still lower these numbers so for that you need to go for the startup apps and from here you need to click on the startup impact and and sorted your applications from the high impact to no impact so guys here on the top we got here the high impact here we got the high impact application so guys here we got over this a uh, live wallpaper application over discord over your game epic games steam adobe application then here again we got over vj tray then uh, other other system security then light shoot and guys other applications so guys i suggest you to simply right click here and disable the unused application from here you can still use this application but guys this will just only stop this application from running in the uh, startup of your pc or on the booting time so guys after doing it now you need to go for the services option so guys now you need to press w from your keyboard and guys here you will find out this valid service so guys you need to simply right click here and stop the service on your pc after doing it scroll all the way down go for these xbox services and guys also turn off xbox services from here and now simply close out of your task manager now in the next step we are going to optimize over windows graphic settings so for that simply right click on your desktop and open up display settings now scroll all the way down go for this reduce settings and under there you will find out graphics so go for it go for this default settings and click on the change default graphic settings turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and guys this will reduce latency and improve your performance and also you need to restart your pc therefore these changes take effect so guys once you have done now simply uncheck these boxes from here after that now go back now you simply go for this browse option and guys select out here your fortnite game so guys i have already added here my fortnite now go for the option and set it onto the high performance of your gpu now hit save and close out of your windows settings so guys now the final and the last step of my this video we are going to disable the fso on our pc so for that you need to go for your file explorer go for the drive where you installed your fortnite now go for program file epic games fortnite fortnite game binary win64 now scroll down and find out fortnite a uh, launcher file so guys here we got our fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file so right click open up the property window go for compatibility and check mark onto the disable full screen optimization now hit apply click ok and close out of this directory and now you need to one time restore your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your budget pc 
I hope so you love it. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And see you again in the next video.